Hello. Not bad, just have a yeah. Is your phone number, is that the one that goes to like a, is it, what is it, real estate or yeah. something, right? Okay, yeah. so that's when I called, I left a message and then just sent you an email. Um, so what's going on that uh, you have concerns about? Like I understand there's lots of concerns. I Like I don't want to go over the full investigation, yeah, yeah. but I just wanted to well, see what I could help num- you out number, with. Number one, I guess when the two officers, 4606 and 4683, especially 4683, came to my house, um, they seem to be on a mission to invalidate everything I was saying. Every single th- thing I said, they kept taking it out of context, trying to belittle it, and you know, um, I was actually shocked. Like, you know, they actually and they told me incorrect information. They said, you know, somebody. Um, I told them, I said, you know, because it's obviously a very uncomfortable situation. Like, I, I come from a very conservative East Indian Hindu family, and for a judge in the middle of a hearing in front of my brothers. To be soliciting me for sex and telling me that you know um, he won't give me the orders unless and then I was like mortified like mm-hmm. I was so humiliated and I mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't know how she was going because this is a judge yeah. I sat there silent and I was just like maybe if I just sit there silent mm-hmm. you know what I mean and then there's a point where you kind of just this is happening you know what's happening you know what's being but you're just like zoned out you're less like you can't believe it. Mm-hmm. And at one, you know, and I explained all that to them. I explained it to Ryan last week as well. And Ryan, right away, he got it. Mm-hmm. I even explained it to the to the cadet that's there today as well. Mm-hmm. So um, it made me feel uncomfortable that yesterday when I came in, I was because Ryan said, you know, um, I think he had spoken to you in front of me, um, and he'd spoken to I think forty six oh six, and he said, you know, um, just just um, you know, um, don't worry. Um, and what he had told me last on the nineteenth is that. You know, they 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 didn't really make much note. They didn't do it. Oh, 4606 and 4683. The two original officers okay. came out. They did nothing. And wow, but the, they, not they, they had they had actually um, somebody had gone out to see Justice McEwen. And then nobody for all these months I've been calling and emailing. They haven't bothered to call me back or anything. And then surprisingly, now that Ryan said send additional information because apparently that's what 4606 was waiting for. But why wouldn't she tell me that? <laughs> I cannot. Like you have to tell me that you want additional information rather than just leave me hanging for months and like four yeah. months. And then it made me feel very uncomfortable that when I was on the phone with 4683 yesterday, she's saying, oh, well, it's over four months. Well, that's because you guys kept not calling me back. I was calling you back within days I was getting back to you, right? So, and then I spoke to Ryan last week and he said, don't worry, you know, um, you know, and you seem like very reasonable. Like, you seem very, like, you know, and even, you know, you know like, um, she, he said, don't worry, we'll be doing a proper investigation, we'll, you know, um, send us the information and, you know, the, if the audios exist, mm-hmm. we should go and get them because, you know, instead of having me continually having to relive this thing over yeah, and over again. that's tough, right? But, yeah, you don't want to have to do that, yeah. I, it, it occurs to me that they don't have proper training because all the things they were telling me, they were, like what uh, Officer 4683 said to me in September when she first came out, she says, a woman who's been through this will remember every little detail and stuff like that. Which is odd because I, I I have been seeking support from a couple of women's support groups, and all the education that they taught me after these officers had come out, they said no. The majority of women have memory loss because it's their way of protecting themselves. Mm. Because this is similar to you know post traumatic stress disorder. Like it's like <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, and it, it's and for me, it's the whole thing is just being human. And then I said to them, even at the it, like it'll be on the body cam. I said to them. You know, if I'm lying, go get the audios because the audios will prove everything. Instead of having me relive this, mm-hmm. why, are you, like, why are they not helping another woman? Like this is, you know, mm-hmm. this is it's so uncomfortable. And my my sister's been in some of the hearings where some of the judges they're actually leaning over and talking to the uh, lawyers and saying, how do we make how do we keep her silent about the sexual harassment? Mm-hmm. You know, 
So, you know, and then they, they, the lawyers are coming up with this, oh, declare her vexatious, and that way we shut her up for good and stuff. And mm. I relayed all this to Doug Ford's office, my MP, and I've now engaged the um, Chief Justice of, uh, of Canada, actually his office, and um, they're encouraging me to also, um, I have already started approaching Mr. Trudeau, but mm -hmm. I'm trying, like, honestly, I don't understand why this one just doesn't move on. And now that that case is almost getting wrapped up, he's starting something else. It's, it's like, the man just, why can't you just move on? Mm -hmm. I don't understand mm -hmm. why he just doesn't move on. Like, you know, it like, seems exhausting, that's for sure. Well, the thing is, just, you know, like, even if somebody comes on to you, but then they just don't, don't do all these things to punish you, because he's the head of the department. Yeah. So all these judges work for him. Mm -hmm. So it's been like a poison environment where. And I sent you, um, I showed you how the lawyers have been treating us and when, yeah, and when we go that, into yeah. hearings, that's how we're being treated. And it's like, mm -hmm. every time I stand up for myself and say, hey, you know, stop treating me like this. And you know, mm -hmm. um, we deserve to be treated equally and I don't deserve to be sexually harassed. Mm -hmm. If I say no, I don't care if it's a judge or the prime minister, he doesn't have a right to expect mm -hmm. something. Like he, the guy is asking, acting like a man scorned, like he has some sort of entitlement. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no woman who should have to, in Canada? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot to have to deal with. And then right? to, to deal with, I don't want to deal with those two original mm -hmm. officers again, because all they've been doing is basically, like, all 40, 46, 83 he did yesterday, and she changed her story several times, and she was, like, she has no credibility at all, because on, on several different things, every time she'd say one thing, she'd change it, and then she'd say something else, and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and mm -hmm. you know what, um, you know, that that's that's that that's that's not that's not cool honestly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right um she should have like ryan he, like he was so different because he 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 listened to me. even the cadet when i spoke to the cadet they listened to me they didn't try to devout and they tried to help me mm. that's what a police station is for mm -hmm. yeah and so like i feel more do. traumatized honestly yeah. like, just coming like you know i came in here because i thought ryan was going to be here today again and i just uh, okay. i just yeah, so there's there's not much that they can do from this point. Like any of the officers at this point can't well, they, really but, do much from this point. But so, they haven't investigated anything. Okay, well, okay. So I understand your concerns, and I definitely understand like how this can be exhausting, and you feel like you haven't been, you know, the police haven't been there for you, and I, I understand but that they haven't. all. Okay, well that's not true because they I've seen the work. No, they haven't. They haven't. Okay, can they have, I let you talk? Okay, I'm gonna sure, need you to sure. let me talk. Okay. Sure. Um, so like I said, I definitely understand what you've been going through and if I was in your position or if my family was in your position, I'd feel the exact same way, okay? So I'm not saying you don't have any right and it's just a lot that you have to been through, 100%. Um, so what I've done is I've spoken with the two original officers about what happened. I spoke to Ryan um, and I've gone through like, the documentation that you sent me and um, I've watched the videos that you sent me, which was helpful to get like my head around like what's good because obviously, it's easier. It's yeah, easier than yeah, and because I'm not the original investigating officer, I'm just their supervisors, right? So it's like I'm not in there with every little detail doing the investigation. What the, what, what the, when I when I played that video for my my group support group, mm -hmm. um, they said you know you've talked about here and there, but until you see it in the mm -hmm. video, mm -hmm. then you really understand what's happened, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And that's why. I, you know, I, I've actually sent that to the court. I, you know, yeah, because it, it, it's helpful. Just, just to summarize, because it's hard. I'm already going through so much, and then to, yeah. in one sitting, just got to kind of, you know, what I mean, like relay it. It, it, mm -hmm. it just makes it a lot easier, I think. Yeah, and like you said, you don't want to have to keep explaining yourself over and over again, right? Because it's exhausting. It's, it's a lot too, right? It is. 100. It, it, it is. Yeah. It's like I haven't been sleeping again because it's yeah. like you know, it's it's it's, yeah. it's tough. Like I mean, I. Yeah. I don't, you know, uh, but I, I can tell you, um, you know, they have not done a proper investigation. They never even tried to get the audios, and um, they never got back to me. I, I do not believe 46, eight, what is it, 4683 for, for Angela was telling me that her emails, she never gets her emails. And then, funny enough, when I, I, I sent her uh, and I copied her the email from TPS, she got that right away, and then she was telling me, oh, my partner sent it. So I said, well, how come she didn't send the other stuff? Like, how are you telling me? Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't believe anything she says. Mm -hmm. I think her purpose is just to invalidate me and to stop this investigation. And I would like it assigned to another uh, officer. I've already relayed the situation to Officer uh, White, mm -hmm. um, and he he was more than helpful. And he said, "Yes, send the information. Send that the uh, that you know that from who from the transcription management mm -hmm. office that the um, 
audios exist mm -hmm. and he's, he you know he was willing to and like I said he spoke to you in front of me last week and yeah. both of you were willing to carry it through so so what, just what like we that. have to, so at this point so both um, Constable Frangela and Daniel and those are the two officers that you originally dealt with they've been speaking to with me throughout this process and I've seen their emails and correspondence back and forth so and I've seen the investigation and everything that they've explained to me at this point like I said I also spoke, spoke to white and reviewed everything so the thing that you have to understand from our point of view is we can only take action when there's enough proof to prove that a criminal offense has taken place yeah. okay so I'm not saying you haven't been wronged and you haven't gone through a crazy amount of stress and you still continuing are a hundred percent but our hands are tied when there's not that evidence to but there is. Per, okay one second when there's not that evidence that will allow us to lay a charge. But their so, evidence is there because the audios are, do exist. Okay, so Frangela or Ganyon or White has never heard these audios to, to prove that as any type of criminal offense have happened, but, right? But, but that's One why, second, please. Sure. So they have not heard those, yep. right? So they have contacted Toronto Police who, con who spoke with the judge and looked through all the transcripts and everything. So it's not like an improper investigation has been done, because that's not true. A proper investigation has been done on our side. They've contacted Toronto. And it depends where things happen, right? If it happens in Toronto, Toronto deals with it. But we both liaise with each other, and everything that's been listened to or went through, there's no grounds there to lay a criminal fence for us, Okay, but that's not true, because um, nobody has listened to the audios. Okay, so do you have the audios? No, no, but uh, the audios, um, the audios are the evidence that exists that you guys are supposed to be getting. For, but what is, what are the audios saying? The audios are going to prove that he number one solicited me No, hold on. What are the audios saying? What's, the, the, what's he saying? The audios is where he is saying that he wants sex in exchange for his orders. When he didn't get them, he said mm -hmm. he's not going to, you know, that I'm using him for his orders, so therefore he's not going to, he's not to going to give me, uh, he's not going to give me them because I wasn't responding to him. Right. right. That's exactly what happened. Okay. And then um, when I I wouldn't say anything to him, that's when he blasted me and he went on about, you know, how um, you don't want me, somebody like you don't want me. And then there was another uh, another hearing afterwards in September where he said similar. So that's what right? Toronto was investigating, correct? No, no, no. Toronto's so, not investigating. Well, um, that's he, under my understanding they are no, because it's happened in Toronto, correct? No, it actually happened. I was in my house on a Zoom meeting. Okay. So it actually happened when I was in my house okay. and that's home. yeah right so that's that's why it's that's why okay. it, it's, it's within uh, this jurisdiction mm -hmm. and um, you know and um, you know I, as I explained to all the officers and officer white agreed and I, I heard him speak to you and uh, you did not hear him speak to me ma'am yeah you didn't well, I, I saw him on the phone and he told me he was speaking to you, so why would he lie, right? Well, I'm not saying he's lying at all, but you just said you heard him speak to me, which is not well, true. Well, I, I saw him with the phone and okay. he told me he was just on the phone with you, so... Okay, so you did, right? but you, you did not hear him but, speaking but to I me, saw, so I would like whatever yeah. we're speaking here needs but to I be saw, the truth, okay? Yeah, yeah but I saw okay. him speaking with you. You saw him well, on the phone, I correct? saw him. He, he told on, me he was speaking phone, to correct? you. You're his supervisor, right? He has multiple supervisors, but okay. I am one of his, yes. Well, he told me he spoke to, to his supervisor. Okay, no problem. I understand from yesterday, that is you. Okay, was but you not did you? not see him speaking to me. So, I saw him. Listen, no, I saw him. I did, okay. No, no. What I'm, just, I'm just saying whatever speaks to here needs to be but, accurate. But I'm, okay? Yeah, and I'm explaining to you. Okay. I saw him. He, he was on the phone, and then he came out. And he said, I mean, there must be cameras in here. He came out. And There's he, no reason to pull any cameras No, no, I'm, no, I'm just saying. He came out and he said to me that he was just speaking to his supervisor and rest assured, um, send me the additional information, Mohini, confirmation that these audios exist. Okay, so did you send that copy. information? I did. I sent you. you, you Copies you got, of the audio. No, I sent you confirmation oh, okay. that the audios exist. And he said that, you know, the fact that the evidence exists, you guys should be getting them. Why aren't you getting them? So what I can tell you is my officers have conducted an investigation 
And from their investigation, it's determined that there's no criminal offense to support us laying a charge. Okay, but they have what they, what they haven't done in okay. the investigation. Okay, I so that's not true. Okay, I can you get the audio? Yeah. So, so, yeah. Get the audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so if you have proof, so no, no, this but, is, no, no, no one but, second. But why aren't you guys investigating and getting So the we have. They've investigated they until the. Not, they okay. have not done well, I'm not going to go back and forth. Right? No. You say no, I say yes. I'm not going to go back no, and forth. There's no reason for me to lie. My officers, we oversee what they're doing and making sure everything is done correctly. But, they okay, are very okay. good, thorough officers. No, no, but and they would no, have no reason to lie Toronto about Police this. has not gotten the audios. Okay, so right? I, So what we need to do from this point on, because I'm not going to continue arguing I, back I have an email for Are you me. listening to me? Yeah. I have because you can't talk and I can talk. That's not how it works. Okay. Okay. So if you're going to talk, I'll listen, but you need to listen when I talk. Sure. Too. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want to go back and forth. Essentially, what can happen if you have proof that any criminal offense ha that has taken place, you can provide it to us and we would look into it. But everything up until this point that has been provided and that the officers have investigated and liaised with Toronto Police for, we have not uncovered anything that provides a criminal offense. So from this point on, there's no further action that we can take to help you out. So what you, there's a couple options that you can do, is if you have, if other evidence comes forward that, it, that proves that some type of offense took place, no problem, you just call our general non-emergency line and we will come and take care of it for you, and then again determine if there's a criminal offense and if there's not. Now, if you're not satisfied with that, you can always go to the courthouse and lay your own information, which means that you would go to the courthouse and you say whatever criminal offense you believe has taken place, you can go and then lay your own information at the courthouse. And so those are kind of the two options at this point. And if you're not satisfied, there's a complaint process through Peel Police and the OPIRD okay, okay. that you could also look okay, into. So, okay, so now I've listened to you, right? And what I'm saying is the audios exist. So. I spoke to Toronto Police, and I spoke to you. Nobody has gotten those audios, right? Nobody has gotten those audios. They exist. I told you that they exist. What invent? Like, what exactly did your officer do to investigate? They didn't do anything. When I spoke to Officer Fergella yesterday, she did nothing. What she was, what she, what she told me, I do. You, I have no. I have. I have an audio with uh, uh, with uh, um, with Police Officer Frank Gallo from yesterday, where she lied. She said that oh, on that day when I came in in September, we closed the file. And then I said, well, no, you didn't, because you. I've already confirmed. And then she finally did backtrack and say yes that. They, apparently, somebody was sent out. A sergeant, she said, was sent out to speak to off uh, to um, Justice McEwen, right? Then they in never. In Toronto, I think, but yeah. not with us. No, no. She said a sergeant with an appeal. Right? Went to so Toronto. Went out. To, yeah, went out to Toronto and actually did an investigation. Right. Yeah. TPS has only just been um, has only just become involved as of last week. Up until up until now, right before that, it was only Peel Police, and your officers never bothered to communicate. They never bothered to email me back. They never bothered to call me um, to let me know what's going on. I didn't even know that they had actually gone out. To, somebody had gone out uh, from Peel to go and speak to, to Justice McEwen. They left me hang, and what I had told them is, I said, if you're not going to go and get the audios and do a thorough investigation. There's no point in you talking to him because it's just going to make him re to retaliate. So guess what? As of last week, when that other detective from TPS contacted me, he's retaliated because now he's saying I harassed him. Right away, he gets a detective, and my and the officers here are just basically trying to invalidate me. So that's how I know that she didn't do much because I actually have her on tape from yesterday, right, where she actually lied. And that's why when I sent you the email last night, I, I could actually say that because I do have proof of that. So what I'm saying is I would like this investigated properly, starting with somebody from this group going out and getting the audio, because this situation was started by me to Peel Police in September, mm -hmm. because they did nothing. They basically are just waiting for this guy to basically retaliate against, which is exactly what he's doing. Okay. So I, I understand your position, but unfortunately we don't reinvestigate incidents. So. Um, but it, there's, there's no investigation. Okay, but that man, that is what not true. What did they do? That is not true. Can I've seen. Can you tell me what they did? No, I'm not going to go over everything. But it's my investigation. Why don't I have a right to know what they've done? You've spoken to them multiple times. 
Okay, they haven't told me. To they haven't, White said, multiple they times? haven't said anything about the. Yeah, and Constable okay. White told me they did nothing. She, well, when, I'm sure it, he didn't tell you they did. Ver, yeah, well, that's they, incorrect because but, I've seen their notes what, and I've seen the email okay, correspondence. But, but, but why aren't you telling me what have they done to do an investigation? I'm not going to go over all the but details. But you should because I've no. never been told. Okay, well, I find that hard to believe because they've spoken to you but, multiple but you're, times. But you're telling me that they did all this stuff in investigation, so why can't you tell me what have because they done? Because I don't know all the very little specific so, details so then, of so it, then, so then you but I do, no, I can accurately say that they have conducted an investigation. Well, I'd like to know what they've done to, okay. go, to conduct an investigation. at this point, I'm not going to stand here and argue. So uh, what I'm telling you is this investigation is not going to continue on our end because there's no evidence of any criminal but offense. But they haven't investigated. They, okay, so if you don't believe they've investigated, you but have I'm, the right to lay a but, complaint no, against no, police. But I'm, okay? no, no, but I'm asking you, please provide me, what have they done to investigate? You're telling me that they did investigate, they, you said all these emails, what have they done? They have determined through speaking with you and speaking with Toronto Police they, they, that... Yes, yeah, so, they, so they haven't they, done anything. All they've done is speak okay. to me and speak to Toronto Police. Okay. So that's not an investigation. They never went and got those audios. And I know the police never did either. Okay. So at this point, what I'm telling you is this investigation is not going to continue on our end. Um, because, like I've said before, there's no grounds to believe a criminal offense well, no, took place. because you're only going based on those officers that only came out to try to invalidate you. No, I don't believe that they came out to try to invalidate they you did. at all. Okay, Even, well, that's your belief. Yes, no, that's not my belief. I actually have her on tape twice yesterday, yeah. right, saying exactly that, basically just trying to invalidate you. That's all she's done. Okay. That's the only, in, that's not an investigation. Okay. Right? That's actually... Re victimizing me. And I wouldn't I would never want you to be re victimized. But please event. tell me what did she what did they do to invent all they all all she's done is basically um, the emails that I sent a copy to her from TPS, she's just viewed and even then yesterday she was saying, Oh no, I wasn't getting any of that stuff. I didn't have it. Right? So that's not a proper investigation. She told me yesterday when I came in that she filed a report to all of a sudden after four months close it and then I said, Well, did you get this information I sent you? She said she didn't. So how she could she close it when she didn't get any of that information? She didn't even. She said she, said she claimed she didn't even get the information I sent last week. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So how the, it, it tells me that she didn't do an investigation. Okay. So that's the, what you believe from your end. So there's a there's a complaint process against people well, like, that you can do I, I'd to like lay to, a complaint. Is, do you have a supervisor? Because I would like to escalate this to your supervisor. Well, that's not how the complaint process works. What, how it works is that if you're not satisfied with speaking to me as their direct well, no, supervisor, you, you ma'am, you, if you're not going to listen to me, I'm just going to I'm just going to leave this conversation. Yeah, but you didn't do you you cannot. Every time I've asked you what they've done, they've done nothing. All they've done is talk to me a few times, and all the, and then they talk to TPS only because I connected them with TPS. Okay, well, but if you're if right? you're the complainant saying that this happened, you need to provide us with information no, that we can act on to see if there's any grounds to lay in effect. I told you that audio is exactly. available. I've given you confirmation that the transcription management office has said these audios are available. Mm -hmm. You're just refusing your officers to actually go and get them. That's not true. Well, then what have That's you done to get what you them? Yeah. So they've spoken with the Toronto Police, and it's not available. It's not that's not there have, for no, our. I have, okay, well, if you no, can no, produce no. it, then no. they can definitely investigate. No, no, so have, if you're saying they exist, why do you not know I, what they say, I, and no, why do you no, not? I, I why know do you not have? They, I know what they said, and that's what I've tried to tell you. That's what I conveyed to your officers and you, mm -hmm. and I've I've given you the confirmation that Mr. White had told me to send to you that yes, these ought to confirm that the audios exist. You just finished saying that, um, you know, if I have information that you guys can act on, yeah, I did. Absolutely. Uh, the information that I have, and I've provided you proof from the uh. transcription management office, mm -hmm. that these audios exist. I gave them that information since back in September. They chose not to get those, and they're trying so to... So you don't know that they chose not to get those? They chose they've, not to get them. They they've conducted them. an investigation which has led to a point that has not been able to produce any evidence to lay a criminal but charge. They have, you just Did you, are you hearing what I'm saying? I just heard what you said, okay. and what you also said is the only investigation they've done is they've talked to me a couple times, and now that I've involved Toronto Police, uh, TPS, now they're aware of those emails, right? And maybe, I don't know, conversations, 
but they've never, they've never went and gotten those audios, which I told them from the beginning. So they actually did not act on the information that I they gave They acted them. on the information, they just haven't been able to uncover any evidence of a criminal offense. Because they haven't actually tried to get okay. the audios. Okay. Or somebody can get audio. That's what I'm saying. Right. So if why are you guys so, so, so why aren't they getting them? So they have not been able to obtain these audios that you're talking about. If you can obtain them, if there's a way to produce them and we can see yes, this is a criminal offense, hundred percent we will investigate they, it and we will have act they, on but, it. But have they it's, tried to get the audios? Yes, they have they've been in contact with Toronto Police. Not the Toronto Police, no, no. it should be the Transcription Management From Office. Yes, yeah, so they they so this is what they've been doing is liaising with Toronto Police who have been accessing this and being able to because it's part of Toronto and part of PO. Do you understand that? So it's not like we can go into Toronto if it's their investigation. No, no, but okay. it was your investigation first, but your yes. office just sat, sat on their ass. So okay. Sorry to say okay. okay, okay. They I'm did. not gonna, no, no. They didn't I'm, do anything, okay, but they didn't do anything. I'm not going right? to, so would you, the, okay, I'm not going to continue to argue. No, no, wait a minute. This, this, this is this the complaint this, process this, that you can. No, no, but this investigation, let me just finish. So, this no, investigation. I'm not arguing with you anymore. No, no, it's not a matter of arguing. Your officers did not do anything. Okay, well, I disagree right? with you. It's right? not true. No, no, okay, they, so. they, no, they never went to the transcription management office where I've given you in confirmation from the transcription management office that these audios are available. They never went to the uh, transcription management office to obtain this information. They have not been able to obtain them. Okay, and if you guys think that it's did, did, did they try to? I don't have the specific details no, what, because, what, like I said, they're the investigating officers. And I can't explain what, every detail that they've okay, done. So okay, so what I'm asking you is, apparently, from my understanding, there's an order that they have to get. Right? Did they even try to get an order in order to obtain those audios? I'm not going to explain every single process that the no, officers have I, done. That's okay, a, that's if, if you believe there's different steps that police need to but take, I, I would, I I'm would not going to go through it. No, They've done I'm everything not, they can, and they have not been I'm, able. What I'm asking okay. you. Okay. No, no. But what I'm. I'm asking, not going to continue this. No, no. What so I'm, I'm going to go back no, no, through that door. If you're I'm, not going to listen I'm, to what I'm saying. No, no. But what I'm asking you, because because I need to really explain, what I'm asking you is. Did they try to get an order to get those uh, those audios? Ma'am, I don't even know that we need to get an order. I could look into it a little bit further to explain to you that, but I don't even know that us as officers have to get orders. Let me speak with the officers. I can get a bit more detail about that. But above and beyond that, there's nothing else that I can help you with. Okay, because that's all I've been telling them from the beginning. I can email you that. I can, I'm on for the next two days, and I can send you an email by... My last night shift, um, with a little bit of information on that, but above and beyond that, there's nothing that I can do to help you out here today. Yes, or that this investigation. Above and beyond, more information coming from these transcripts. Yeah, because if you can get your hands on them and there's some evidence, we are more than happy investigating. Right? I, 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 well, um, I. Well, it, I'm not saying it's not being taken seriously because there's been a lot of police officers' hours involved in this, and that we don't just want to brush things off, right? Like we're here to like help the public, right? And if something's happening, we can help. That's what we're here for. We're not here just to brush people off, right? But our hands are only tied so much as to what evidence there is that gives us the power to lay a charge. Yeah, I know, but the whole issue here is number one, your officers did brush me off because they came out in September. And every time I reached out a call, every time I sent an email, and I have several emails that you can see over the months where I've sent them, sent them, they did rush me off because they didn't even bother to follow up with me. So you like, think really part of the problem is the cross communication with Toronto and New York. That does make it complicated. Anytime two different regions are investigating Not something, wants to share it, it does make it a little more difficult. Not to be said it can't be done, but obviously sometimes things get lost in communication 100%. It makes it a bit more complicated, but I mean, it's so nothing. Can we get it from people from Toronto ourselves? So, see what, like the ways that we can go about it is very different than the ways that the public can go about it. So I'm not, unfortunately, I don't, I'm not really well versed in like how you can go and get those type of documents. Um, 
but I could look into it a bit more on our end. But as for you guys, I'm not really sure how it works because we're not really involved in that type of thing, right? I would like a report on yes this situation. Yeah, so you can definitely do that. So you then they would print off the whole field and yeah, so yeah, so you have to go through like an application process. Sometimes you have to pay for it, but you go through our records and they'll provide you like any type of our report. But what what I understand is what's supposed to happen, right? And I did do some research and I spoke to you know different people and um, you know what I understand is what's supposed to happen because again my my report to Peel Police had started before TPS yep. right unfortunately and I don't you know I don't know if you want to hear it or not but I have the proof I've sent an email for email I've called you know I've seen all the emails they just never bothered to even respond to me well that's not like, true because I've seen email correspondence between you guys no nothing no, no no they haven't responded even once to me not even once no no there's not even been one correspondence with me even to date I've seen the emails ma'am Show okay, me. but what she's no, saying I'm is not. there's not even one email between oh. me and, and no, no, okay. no, no, I'm, no, no. What you're saying? I'm just saying we disagree, right? I'm not going to argue. No, I'm not just saying we disagree. No, not, not disagree. I there's not even one correspondence okay. between you, your your policeman not responding. Back. Long no, long. no, 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 no. Chandra, you, I'm, I'm trying to explain. Ma'am, I'm not going to argue. No, you no, say one no, thing, no, I'm saying the other. No, 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 no. But you're telling no. me something that's incorrect. Okay. There's not even there's not even been. Well, I believe you're telling no, me something no, no. that's incorrect. But then show me an email that they've ever responded to me. Ma'am, I'm not getting into this. This is not. This is what I'm saying. This is not productive. No, no, but it, but it, but it, no, no, but it is. Have all that, right? No, no, but it is. That's what you have it to request is. through the freedom no, of information. But, no, no, but every time, every time I present a truth. You try to shut me down, ma'am. I don't want to, you know. And I'm not you know, shutting you, know, you down. Like, I just you don't are. agree with you. You are. You, you, well, then you show me an email because I can tell you there hasn't been even one time they've ever okay. responded to me. Not even once. Okay. TPS responded to me, but not you guys ever. Okay, then. Right? If, so don't say something that's untrue. Well, it's not true. It's not right? untrue. Well, then show me an email where they've one time ever responded. I do not need to produce responded. anything, ma'am. What you I need have to... a recording with her yesterday. No, no. I'm going to walk okay, away no, in a minute. No, no. Because no, this is not no, 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 Yes, and you're not going to tell me what to do. Because you're not allowing me to speak. No. Every time I... No, no. I've been here for 45 no. minutes. No, I know. But every time I try to make a point, you try to shut me down in this kind of a way, no, right? No, I just don't agree I, with you. I actually have... With a recorded, a recorded calls uh, uh, meeting with um, Officer Fagella, who admits she never responded to my email and neither did her partner. So why are you telling me that they've ever sent an email where they've never have? We just disagree on it. We can't. We, well, then you have to show me that. I don't have to do yeah. anything. No, if, if, you're, if, if you're telling me it exists. Right? Okay. Don't we disagree. So. You're, you're saying, you, no, you're trying to say, you, you shouldn't be saying things that are untrue. They've never responded to me. Right? And they've never investigated this. So what, you, what you just finished saying, all they've done is they talked to me. Right? And now I do have confirmation because Officer Fragala did confirm with me yesterday, as well as Officer White before, that you guys did go out to speak to Justice McEwen. Not, 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 neither time, there's no point where you guys have ever requested those audios. Okay. And, and my understanding, because I have found that what you're supposed to do, there's an order that you can prepare to request them, right? TPS has not requested them, right? So my question to you again is, like, if you can investigate why you, your officers didn't, they didn't do anything, and why have they been ignoring me? So they have not... Right. It's not that they haven't done anything. They have done a significant amount of work on this. Like I said to you, I will follow up about what the process is to get these recordings and to get the details for you for that because I don't specifically have that. And I will send you an email by the end of my night shifts. But beyond that, there's nothing else. So if anything comes of these recordings or if we get our hands on the recordings, and we can definitely investigate that. But over, if we don't have those recordings or we can't access them, there's nothing else that we can do. It's not a police matter from that point on. Okay, but uh, so um, as long as I have, like, you know, your, your uh, agreement that you guys are going to take the right process to access those Well, we have taken the right process of this investigation up to this point. And like I said, I will look into what has happened or what requests or what process has been done right now for the recordings. And then I will get back to you on that. Okay, yeah, because okay. again, they have never requested the audios. And if they had done that back in September... 
that would have made things a uh, whole, you know, and then also keep me abreast of what's going on. I mean, you're, you're talking to a woman who's just experienced something so traumatic like what I have been mm -hmm. experiencing, and they just bothered, they didn't even bother to get back to me and let me know so what's I understand going that. On. The more communication, the better, and I will agree with you on that but, part. You know, the more, the better. I understand even, that. Okay, I'm a real estate agent, so if I'm selling your house and I just leave you in the dark, 100%. You're gonna be like, what? What the heck's going on? Yeah, you know, 100%. Like, my house is, I'm yeah. cleaning the place every two minutes and stuff. Like, what's, I know, agree with you. All, all I'm saying is, like, you know, um, rather than it's not a, for me, it's not a matter of putting blame, but I'm just saying this is what happened, mm -hmm. Sergeant. This is what happened, mm -hmm. right, Sergeant Wood? This is what happened. Mm -hmm. You know, they literally just left me in a lurch and just sort of left me like that, and I've been sitting here going, "What's going on?" Mm -hmm. And I specifically said to them. What is the point of talking to Justice McEwen if you're not going to do a full investigation and get the audios, right? And they admitted that, you know, they never even tried to request the audios. All they've done is basically they talked to me. I guess somebody went out um, and, you know, talked to Justice McEwen. They never investigated the white van outside of my house, which I told them in September, mm -hmm. right? With him coming out to my house, you know, 1030 at night while I was watering my plants, mm -hmm. you know? They never investigated that either, so why? And that's mm -hmm. why I'm saying, like, they haven't done all these things. And yes, I am frustrated. I'm I, going, I can see, yeah. I, you know, I and I, 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 you know, I, I mm -hmm. apologize, but in a situation like this, how could I not be? Yeah, no, I agree. And, like, it's good for, to bring it to my attention, right? Because then I would, like, everything that you've addressed, I will address with them. And I'll, I can respond to you in an email and just address each one of your concerns. But I would rather have this investigation move to. to other officers who so that's will, not something we can do we can't that is something against our policy we do not do that once an invest officers but have investigated no. it and if i look if i look over it and determine that they've done their job we, we haven't will, okay but that's not for you to decide right no but you can see they haven't communicated with me they haven't okay, done but, okay I'm, we're not going to get into all this again no, i'm no, just going to say but, if i determine that they've done their job the next step from there is you to file a complaint with either our public complaints or the OIRPD, which is like our governing body that oversees police um, conduct, right? So if that just avoids us going back and forth, because if I determine that what they've done is complete and there's nothing else we can do, I can't help you anymore. Nobody can help you anymore here. You'd have to go through the complaint process. But, but, you're, but again, you're telling me, right? Like Officer White was willing to help me. And you know, um, you're shutting that down. I don't no, know why. No, I'm not shutting that down. Right? Absolutely not. Why, why? Why should I not be able to follow up and you know get him to continue to help me? Like why would? Why I'm would not you... shutting anything down. What do you mean I'm shutting but down? What I'm saying is I feel uncomfortable given everything that I've told you. Where they haven't been communicating, they, you know, um, they haven't done anything other than talk to me. Somebody talked to Justice McEwen, and you know they never. Okay, I, I know. I understand okay, that so you I, said I, that. Yeah, I know. But I'm just summarizing. Okay, if I understand this, right? I, I let you finish, right? So all I'm saying is, because they, because of their conduct and what they've done or haven't done so far, they never, because all they have to do is get an order to get the audios. They haven't even taken any steps that way at all. All they've done so far is try to invalidate me each and every time, right? And that's. That would not what they're supposed to do. Mm. A woman who's experiencing this thing, you don't tell them, no, it must be you. You got, you know, you got it wrong. And no, I didn't. My sister has been in some of the hearings, and she sees what the judges have been doing. The judges have been leaning over and talking to the lawyers to say, how do we get her to shut up about this, right? You know, and the, the lawyers have said, well, you know, do this to her, do that to her, and they're trying to do it to me, right? So, and and I, I can, um, I'll go and check, but uh, I think somebody may have some some report, not not with when the judge actually came on to, you know, but um, you know, at least some other ones, right? Uh, of some of the other judges, some of their things. So, if I can get that, but um, again, it would be more prudent. Again, and I I, I really don't understand. You know, like I told them in September, I said, you know, the audios are available, so why didn't why didn't you, why don't you just go and request them, right? Mm -hmm. All they have to do is there's a special order to and do. And did you tell them? Right? Okay, but you have to stop repeating everything. I understand. No, I'm, I'm so, a salesperson, so you know okay. how many times I have to repeat. It's too much. It's too much. I once you say it once, I get it. But you know what it is? Here's it. When I talk to my customers, if I don't repeat it many times. They don't get Okay, it. but I'm not a customer. I know, and this is what I have been doing for 25, it's 22 it's years, okay? It's I can't. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks. She's like a young chick. Yeah. <laughs> so 
I don't, don't, don't say I'm, I'm bad. Oh, say no, something no problem. Problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> don't say something bad. Oh, she, she, now she, she, she told me something. No, 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 no. Okay, so why don't we leave this conversation with, I'm going to follow up with the officers and I will send you an email before my night shift is over, so the next two nights, with, okay, what ex exactly was done to request these audios, okay, and then what conversations they've had with Toronto Police, and I'll follow up with Constable White to see if there's anything else that's possible that we can reach out to get any evidence that we can help you out. And so I will respond to those three things with you via email, and then we'll go from there. Can I just say one other thing? Can you, um, because somebody apparently went and spoke to Justice McKeel, so I never, like, what happened there? Like, I never got any sort of update of what happened with that. Sure, I can, yeah. Like, I, it's just, I just don't want to be in the dark because I have no idea. And I understand. And you can understand. Yeah. So when you come out and say everything's been done, I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> Nobody's told me nothing, right? So I can understand how you'd like to be updated for sure. So yeah, like, I, I will. Know what's going on. Okay. Because I, I'm thinking, like, transcripts from the court, I think, are kind of open. Yeah, like anybody can request those, yeah, definitely. No, but what, what it is is um, the judges want, well, I, I sent you the emails, the judges yeah. want to redact them and then yes. they don't want to give access to the audience, yeah. right? Um, so, you know, I think if, if you know, it's under investigation, um, the, the police can, that's why. Well, it's, a, it's, it's not that easy, right? It's a very distinct process and that we have to provide, I mean, if it's the same, this may be different in Toronto, but for us to get transcripts for a, a court hearing here for cases, it's, it's a very in-depth process that like, say when you apply to get a report here, sometimes they're saying, no, we won't release it. They do the same thing with us determining what our grounds are, what the status of the investigation is, right? So it's not as easy as saying, hey, it's Sergeant Wood from Peel Police, can I have this? They're like, sure, here you go. But if you it's smile, if you smile, but you I mean, I tried, but it doesn't work. You know, it's <laughs> you know, it's you know what, this was all over uh, in the case. Yeah, that's what, yeah, it's that's what I understand. Silly. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. it, it took this route because, it's, I don't know it, how you know, the hardest that, thing, it's like, like you know, like even even if I, I, honestly, I didn't want to disparage him, and I I, I actually mm -hmm. reached out to just because nobody would help me. Like you know, I, I told several other judges, and you know, now I've told the police. Mm -hmm. And it's what the women's group says that's normal that police and and, judge, and courts don't help you. And so then, what you end up having to do is appease this guy. So you're appeasing him, like well, I'm appeasing. Don't appease him, please. <laughs> no, but you're. you're I don't want to do no, that. no, not not doing it. But I'm yeah, just saying yeah. you're appeasing him in the sense of trying to reason with him to say, you know, these are all the reasons why we wouldn't be good to you. Yeah, like that's yeah. all. That's all I've, I've done. I've just tried to give, and I've, I've tried to do it in the, in the kindest way. Mm -hmm. But it's like the more yeah. kinder, it's like this guy just. It's, it's like you know, and then he's he's tried now to have me attached to his court forever. Like you know, and it's like he just wants to have this power over me. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm like I. I want to just get rid of this guy. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> like honestly, I don't even want to go down, you know, um, anywhere down there because I, I just want to stay away. Because mm -hmm. I, and honestly, I think if I go into that courthouse, I think I would get assaulted either by the lawyers or because the, there's it's so like there's so much yeah. animosity and I I don't feel safe, yeah. right? And uh, that's I mean, important to us, right? Like we want you to feel safe. Did, did they, but the, oh, the other thing is they never they never investigated the when the when um, you know Justice McCune came out to my house in the summertime in a white van. They, I told them about that in September and they never investigated that either. Oh, again. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. I will. I forgot. Uh, you know, there's so much. I will. Um, respond to each one of these and I'll speak with them because like what my job as a supervisor is to speak with my officers figure out what was done speak with you your side of it and then look into it both sides and let everybody know where we can go from here right so I want to make sure like you're being heard I want to make sure my officers are being heard and then we can go from there but I, I mean just given their their you know no response. Like I, honestly, I don't feel comfortable dealing with them at all. So and I can make Constable White the contact person if you would like. Um, I would just, you know, because I, I, I just don't like. You understand the sensitive nature of this whole thing. Hundred percent. Like it's, it's, it doesn't matter. Like um, you know, it doesn't matter to me what sex or what color. Mm -hmm. and it's just whoever is able to at least be compassionate. Yeah. So why don't we do this? I will, like I said, I'll speak with the officers, and if anybody's going to get in contact with you if we need more information, I will make sure it's Constable White, and we'll we'll leave it at that. But if we're able to get a hold of any of the audios, um, definitely let Constable White know. So that's the main thing. You like try on your end. It won't be the audio. It will at least at this point. That, like uh, I think 
are, you know, like, if you're doing an investigation because the audios exist, at least if they would give an attempt to put together in order to, to try and get those. Well, right? like I said, I'll get back to you with an email about what their attempts have been, just so we're, everybody's clear and on the same page, okay? So if you continue to try on your end, I'll clear up what attempts have been done on mine, and if there's more attempts, I will make sure that's done, and then we can kind of go from there. You've made me feel better because I feel like we're working, like, as a team, as opposed to before. I just felt like okay. I was left out in the cold, and it's like, yeah, no, you know, we don't want that, you to feel no, like that, right? Now here's this, um, here's, here's this uh, judge retaliating. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. It just it's so difficult because it was a self-representation. Right. And the other side had a lawyer, and then you had the judge. Oh, see, and that's so the, that yeah. lawyer is not going to side for you because they want to win it. And yeah. you were just like... Yeah, so that, that's a that's a close. So and then it does put you yeah. and then it's like, you know, it's hard yeah. enough losing your mom and then having to fight your brothers Ooh, together. I couldn't imagine, yeah. Fight, yeah. fight your brothers in court. And then to have a judge judge lay all this stuff on you where it's like he's trying to get a piece off you and it's just like so he's saying, but I'm wasting this, so we just keep playing, yeah. right? No, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you're just yeah. trying to get a piece, and it's like, yeah, like, like it's, and you don't need that on top of everything else, right? Like, and, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, and then it's and the, the, the hardest thing is, why don't you guys just nope. move on? Like, if somebody doesn't respond to you, that's the same as saying no. So just like he must be able to get somebody else. Like, it's like it's a year and a half, and every time I think I'm about to get rid of him, he starts something else. Where now you're gonna have to continue to be in contact with him some yeah. which way, right? Like. I I just feel like, like it's like a fatal attraction. Just get just cut it, right? Like, like cut all ties. Yeah. Just you know, move on because yeah. I, yeah. I, I just like to go to the gym and do something. I don't want to tell this. Yeah, you don't want to stress, right? Yeah. And we want to do what we can for you. And like I said, it might not be the end result. I don't know, but like we'll do whatever we can in our powers, and I'll keep you updated. And then. Um, you know, we can go from and that, there. That's all I've that's all I've been asking for throughout and so maybe a bit more communication, right? Well, communication, yeah. this, you know, know knowing yeah. knowing the things, yeah. knowing that they're doing something, mm -hmm. you know, that something's being done as a whole community. You know what I mean? Like because yeah. all the things that they were supposed to look after, which I told them is that none of it was even invested like none of it. They didn't investigate. So from my understanding it it was and it has been, but like I said, I'll give the specific details and I'll send it to you in an email so we all are on the same page with what's happened and what we can or cannot do. And then, okay. even, and then even moving forward, I, I don't want to have to, I feel uncomfortable with... Uh, yeah, no, well, like I said, we'll, we'll take uh, Constable White, he'll be the one in charge of it, and he'll be the contact person. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay? Thank so you, you can, so much. Okay. Take care. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hope you work out and stuff. Yeah. I do. Yes, yeah. I try to. Yeah. yeah. So, come on. You got, you got to go okay. to the good life. Uh, they have the spa there. Oh, oh, right. Even you know better. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm so glad that... Yeah. Okay, so better that way. And I'm sorry, but I honestly, it's just been so much of I understand. Like, it's a lot of stress, right? Like, I definitely understand. Okay? Okay. I'll, I'll email care. you in a couple of days. All right. All okay. right. Okay. 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 Okay.